So Tony, obviously today's a lot of physical work, but how, how much mental work do they also put you through? How many questions, interviews, things like that do the NFL teams do? I've done a number of interviews. I don't even remember the exact number, honestly. And we go over a lot of playbooks, a lot of scheme, and we go over my film as well and uh, the West Virginia film and scheme as well. So it's a lot of learning. It's a lot of development uh, throughout this process. Cody Nesper. Tony, I'm just wondering, um, how many teams have you talked to up to this point? And then do you know, are you, are you getting a sense of how they would want to use you uh, as a professional? Um, I've talked to all 32 teams, some of them uh, more than once. And uh, as of right now, I believe I'm still playing Will. I, I'm going to be playing Will linebacker. Some teams said, have said uh, Mike linebacker, look at both. And some teams have actually told me look at the uh, field linebacker, so like the nickel, nickel type backer. Back to Greg Hunter. So, Tony, you talked about watching film with guys. I, I assume they, they point out a lot of negatives just because they're coaches, and that's sort of what they do. Does that get difficult when they say, how come you did it this way rather than this way? What, what, what's the tough part of watching film with coaches? Uh, it doesn't really get difficult at all. I mean, you know, you don't really like people telling you that you didn't do something good, but – um, I just take it with a grain of salt and try to learn from it. I mean, when a coach tells me that uh, he asked me why I did something wrong, typically I already know what I did wrong because I've watched the film with Coach Coons and Co or Coach Leslie. We watched it and we've already corrected the film uh, during the season. So I'm able to explain why I did it and uh, what I did wrong. So it's not really too bad. So you played mainly Mike, well, almost all Mike, at West Virginia. You, and obviously you talk about other positions in the NFL. Did the experience at Mike help, or would it have been more beneficial to play a position that you're going to play in the NFL? Um, the experience at Mike definitely helped. Uh, my first three years at U of A, I played Will Linebacker. So it coming to play Mike and being able to uh, set the front and uh, call the plays more and having to, having to learn exactly uh, – totally opposite play, I mean, a position, it helped out a lot. Carly Nevis. Tony, what have the past few months been like for you? Where were you at? Um, how did you transform your body to prepare for this pro day? Um, I went back home to Vegas. I've been training at Phase 1 Sports in Las Vegas with the, uh, another WVU uh, alumni, um, Trip Hale. He played back in the day. So um, he's been getting me right. And uh, my guy, Reggie, he's been getting me right at, back home. So, I mean, I came, I, I got back to Vegas feeling feeling kind of bad. You know, I didn't play in a bowl game. I uh, had to do some tweaks on my bruises and everything like that. But right now, I feel the best I ever felt in my life. Um, how do you think you performed today? Um, did you get on anybody else's good list uh, with your measurements and stuff like that? Um, from everything my agents told me and from the looks on the scouts' faces, it looked like I'd had a great day. Um, they don't really talk to you too much. They don't really tell you too much. So I wouldn't know until I get to uh, have a conversation with my agent later on today. Cody Nesper. So Tony, uh, we haven't gotten to talk to you in a while. What was your experience like um, uh, participating in the Senior Bowl? Oh, it was great. I loved the Senior Bowl. Um, it was a different experience for sure. I mean, we were up until like 12, 12.30 at night every night and had to be up at 6 a.m., 6.30, sometimes 5.30 in the morning. So it was a different experience, but it was great just to come in and have to learn a new playbook, an NFL playbook, and have to uh, develop really fast and try to eventually earn a starting spot for the game. So it was pretty fun. Gonzalo from No Huddle, Argentina. Hey, hey, Tony. Uh, I want to ask you about uh, first of all, first of all, congratulations for entering this process. Uh, I know how hard will be. Uh, and in second term, I want to ask you, uh, what can, kind of play of players do you like to see at the professional level? Uh, what are your favorite? Uh, players in the NFL to, to watch? As of right now, my, I'm going to answer your second question first. As of right now, my favorite players are uh, 
Darius Leonard and Devin White, they fly to the ball. They're guys that really run real fast. I, I like to compare myself to them. When I see them play, they they play with a lot of passion, you can tell. And, um, I mean, dur throughout this process, it hasn't really been hard. It's been something I've been working on throughout my whole life. I've been, I've been ready for this moment. So, I mean, waking up every day, training two times a day is nothing to me because I wanted to do this. This is what I wanted to do. This is my job. Greg Hunter. So, uh, Tony, has your agent given you a feel of draft position? You know, what round? And you sort of have something in your mind that, boy, if I don't go by this point, uh, I'll be a little disappointed? Um, my agent's giving me day two. Um, so that's, I believe, second, third, fourth round. So um, that's, that's a good look for me. I mean, as of right now, I mean, if I get picked up, I'm happy. I'm not going to complain about anything. I mean, this is a blessing. It's 1% of people that play college football that, that get to get to the NFL. So, I mean, this is a blessing to even be a part of this opportunity. So anywhere I get picked up, whether it's first, second round, first, second, third, or even free agency, I'm still going to be happy, ready to go. Back to Cody Nesper. So Neil said um, you might be up, uh, you know, five pounds in weight. Uh, are you at what you think your playing weight would be as a professional or, or yet? Yeah, no. Not at all. I'm, I'm, I plan on going up a lot more. I did. I actually, I actually came back to my playing weight uh, for the 40 today and everything like that. I didn't understand why, but, you know, a weight's a real thing that fluctuates a lot. I, I plan on getting it up to 226, 227 and playing at that weight this year. 